guys in this video we will learn how to implement google recaptcha v3 in laravel application so let's get started with example so you can see here i already downloaded fresh laravel application and also implement a contact us form over here with the name email subject and message field okay and if i click on submit you can see that validation also implemented so you can see here like i created simple route get and post over here okay in the controller i simply define the validation like name email subject and if i go here into the resource file that's i already defined like validation message and input field and all the things okay so i'm not going to show you from scratch like uh, create the form and all the things if you don't know how to create form validation then i already captured few days ago one video so you can follow that one okay form validation so you will know now what i will do in this form i will implement google recaptcha v3 okay so what i need to do first i will go here into the google recap google recaptcha documentation okay here i will be logging as a one user okay so i already log in as a, my email address okay and next you need to start like getting started okay so first of all i will register my app so i will see laravel app one okay and i will choose tcaptcha v3 okay and here i will be add my domain so i will simply add localhost because we are doing from the localhost okay and then click on submit it will take some time to generate key and password okay so simply copy this key and i will go to the env okay and here i will be create okay so i will say google recaptcha underscore key okay and equal to i just paste that key okay same thing i will copy the secret okay and go here and i will say google underscore recaptcha okay underscore key equal to okay secret sorry it's not a key it will be secret okay save it okay so secret and key define in the into the env file okay now what i need to do simply go to again the documentation and here is the recaptcha v3 documentation so we will choose this options over here and first we go and just simply add over here like this file this line okay so simply copy this okay and go to the blade file and simply add over here okay into the header okay simply save it okay now what i will do at the end i just need to copy the script and at the end i need to paste it okay so let me go here and after this div simply i will add this okay now what i need to do simply go here and this says like into the submit button you need to add this attributes okay so i will copy this class and this thing so simply copy it okay and simply i will hit enter over here and then enter and then paste okay so you can see that there is a two class so i will simply copy this class over here and simply paste it over here okay and then at the end i will remove this okay so what this means okay when this submits then trigger this uh, event okay so you can see that it's get element by id so we need to do we need to give form id okay so let me define that one okay save it okay now you can see here when submit which form will be submit so this form will be submit at that time this token will be add into that okay and here also we need we need to define site key so let me take from the env so i will env and i will simply copy the name from the env file okay so it's not going to mistake simply save it okay now let me go and refresh the page okay simply if i go here and refresh okay you can see here here is the google recaptcha 3 is coming okay now let me go and go to the controller when i submit what i found okay so simply go here and i will say request all and save it okay now if i go click submit okay you can see that i found g recaptcha response okay that means they are adding the token because i am the real user if there is any robot or anything work then this will be not work okay like this input will be never get into into the controller okay now i will add the validation over here so how i will do that okay so let me create one custom validation rules for it so i will say php artisan mac rule and i will say re captcha okay re captcha and hit enter you can see that they created one rules over here you can see here okay now let me go here into the documentation and they say verify user response so we need to verify that token is valid or not because anyone can send the token okay 
so th that token should be valid with the google recaptcha key and secret okay so what i will do i will simply go here and use and i will say new okay and what we will create at the validation rules i will copy it okay and simply use it over here i will say app rules okay and we'll recapture rules okay simply copy it okay and paste it over here you simply save it okay now in this rules what i will do simply go here and into the documentation they already provided we need to call this api okay so simply i will copy this okay and i will say response and i will use http client for it okay and simply fire the get request and i will say and i need to pass two parameters secret so that already we have in env file so i will take from there so i will go again over here and simply copy it okay and paste it okay and now if i go here and i will pass another response okay so response is also required so response will be the value that token what we have okay and simply save it and i will get as a json okay so json and i will simply print it how i getting the response okay and simply save it okay and now if i go here i will simply remove this one okay and i will so make it comment for right now okay so i don't have to worry about that okay now if i go here and simply refresh it again okay let me rerun again the project so php artisan sir okay and now refresh it okay there is a okay validation let me go here and what is the issue over here so key and yeah it's equal to i need to arrow sign okay simply save it okay and now if i click on submit okay there is http not found so let me go to the rules and add the http over here so i will say use http simply save it okay and refresh it again continue okay you can see that success is a true so if you go to the documentation they already written like success key will be true or false okay so if there is a false that means that token is not valid but if it's written true that means you are real user okay so now if i go here i will add one condition over here like if not equal to true like response and i will say success okay that already over here so i will copy it paste it okay and over here if there is not true then it will return like the google re captcha not valid okay simply i give the message any message you can give and i will simply remove this from here okay so for example i am not going to pass or maybe i am going to pass a uh, temporary okay yes okay and simply save it that means it will be validation okay it will be return the validation okay and now if i go here into the blade file here i will be simply print it okay under the sms okay and if i go here what is the name of the input so i will say g response okay and if i go here and paste it paste it save it okay and now if i go and refresh again okay and if i click on submit you can see that google recaptcha is not valid because of we pass the static data over here okay let me remove it okay and now if i go here and refresh it and if i click on submit now you can see that it validated and now let me go here into the controller you can see that input so right now we just uh, dd the input all the data okay so you can see that this token is valid so that's why it's going to proceed okay now let me add let me enable this all the data okay and let me test it again okay and i will say simply hardik and email and i will say test test and if i click on submit okay you can see that with the old all the data it's like uh, validation is working like google recaptcha 3 but if there is token is not returning or invalid token then it will be give the response and error so i will really show you with the temporary data so i hope guys you see this video in helps then if you like this video then please subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching guys